I have a wedge today that could totally revolutionise your short game. It's a wedge that we all know, it's a Voki. A Voki wedge that everybody thinks, yes, they're a bit expensive, but what's different about this Voki that's going to allow us to chip the ball closer? If you're somebody who likes to use one golf club, then this could be the perfect option for you. And it's an option that you can get from Titleist. And you'll see it is the SM Voki wedge with the flight lines on there. So you can see the three white lines on there and what they are designed to do are to help you be able to get in the right setup to generate any kind of ball flight you want to play. And that's the biggest thing I see in short game. People are very limited. They get the ball position back in the stands. They want to just make contact and they want to just get it driving forwards like that. We go, oh, that's unlucky, it only needed another yard. But these three flight lines on here are designed by a PGA Tour winner and short game coach. He is on Instagram, as you'll see on the screen now, short game chef, and this is Parker McLaughlin. So again, obviously he's won on the PGA Tour. He's a short game specialist, teaches a lot of the PGA Tour players currently. And he came up with this idea, obviously, to start to get that club in a position of where you can start to get the right amount of loft on, the correct shaft lean to generate the ball flight that you want. If I want a higher ball flight, for example, I need to use the forward sight line. And if I use the forward sight line, I can then get that handle a little bit back. I can put plenty of loft on there and I can make the same kind of motion and you will see there that will generate a higher ball flight. If I now wanted to go, okay, right, well, I want to play a little bit of a lower one, I can use that third line on there, so the back line, I can get my hands forward, and you'll see there it gives me the forward shaft lean that I need to generate a little bit of forward roll. But you can see there it's not drastic like I start to see a lot of people where it's back here and we're trying to dig that club into the ground. So the ball position is just back of center. I'm then gonna get the third side line point pointing towards my sternum, that will then get this club a little bit forwards, and then that generates the loft off there. So if you're somebody who likes to use one club, if you're somebody who uses your 56, if you use your 60 all the time, you can start to play different shots. This is a 60 degree that obviously has been sent with these flight lines on. So if I go a little bit back in my stance, I get that third flight line pointing to my sternum, and I make the same motion again. You can see there, I've got that one that's landing a little bit shorter. It's got a lower trajectory. And even with a 60 degree there, I'm able to control what that is doing. And that's exactly what we want in short game. Because too many times in short game, in short game lessons, and again, guys, if you are looking for short game lessons, I am a short game specialist for short game and putting. Do drop me an email on that email below. But when I see people come with wedges, they come with a 60 degree, and they can't change the setup to play the certain flight. These flight lines give you that confidence that you know it's in the correct position. And as long as you make a good motion, which is the elusive good motion, but if you make a solid motion, you're gonna be able to get the desired ball flight you want, the run out on the green or the spin that you want. And yes, that's right, you can get spin from using these sight lines because if we're getting the correct loft on there, if we've got the correct ball position, we're ticking a lot of boxes in short game to be able to get you better at short game, getting a better contact. And after all, we do miss a lot of greens in a round of golf if we can get up and down a couple more times just think what that's going to do for your handicap and getting you going in the right direction but let's hit a few more shots with this because it's not just around the edge of the greens it's also in the bunkers but it's also on those tricky 40 to 70 yard pitch shots where this can really help you out so this is that awkward yardage that a lot of people hate. So it's not a full shot, it's right in between. What do you do? Do you take a pitching wedge and just get it going? And guys, if you're actually wondering where I am, I am away at the moment in Gran Canaria and we're playing Anfitoro Golf Club a few times this week. So you will see quite a few videos coming on from here. I've got a full set of new golf clubs that which I believe will be my set of golf clubs for the future. I've hit some shots out here today with them. I haven't filmed with them yet, but they are a fantastic combo set if that gives it away a little bit probably not but obviously this distance here is where these wedges start to come into their own for me so this is a 60 degree i wouldn't normally use it from here a lot of people might because they might think all oh, right i'll play a full shot but here what i want to see is the ball position is a little bit back and we're going to use that third flight line again i want this to be coming in a little bit lower and if we're coming a little bit lower we can generate a good amount of spin we can control our distance and we can make sure we're consistent, which is the main thing here. So how many times I see people maybe come up way short, they might hit it or fat it, they might hit it obviously 30, 40 yards. The next one you send like a missile straight through the back of the green. 
Here we've got a little bit of help off the rocks, but at your golf course, I'm guessing not. So again here, a little bit back in the stance, use that third sight line, and again, just make a normal swing. And you'll see there, exactly the flight you'd expect to see. Jumped up a little bit, nice bit of spin coming back towards the fly. But look at the interaction in the turf. I haven't took a huge divot, so I haven't took a massive divot there. I bruised the turf, I've got the flight that I want, and I've been able to hit the green from there. And again, obviously what I see a lot of times here is people are probably using that forward sight line. So the club, the shaft's a little bit back here. We've got all the loft on and we're trying to send it hitting in the next flight here into Gran Canaria. So again, get that ball position a little bit back, use that third sight line, start to get some consistency. Again there, nice bruise the turf there just on the green and nice and close. Two similar interactions with the turf. I've got my setup right, I've used the sight lines, but let's jump in a bunker. And this for me is where this club could be really beneficial. How many times I see people not get the right amount of loft in the bunkers and what we start to see is that we've got a little bit, but we've got the third flight line looking at our sternum and we start to see, oh, it's done all right, but it's not the ideal situation. That might've gone over the green and out of bounds. So. Using these flight lines here, I can really open up that face, get that first sight line, the forward sight line, pointing at my sternum. That automatically helps me get the shaft in a good position. And then from there, I know I'm in the setup. I can make my normal swing. And you'll see straight away there, the trajectory, the interaction with the sand as well, a nice oval divot there, nice and compact. And it just popped that ball up and out, which is exactly what I want for here. But maybe you get one of these clubs. For example, if you're looking for some new Vokies, maybe you get one of your Vokies and start to practice these three sight lines or flight lines, start to get the right setup each time. And then you can take that into play with your normal club. So with your, if you got, say you get it on the 60, you can have your 56 and you know, right, that's what it'd feel like with the forward sight line. That's what it would feel like with the back sight line. And this is where you can really start to play around with your wedges, play around with your versatility. And like I say, really start to revolutionize your short game. A great thing from Parker McLaughlin, again, a PGA Tour winner, great idea that could help you. You might only need one, so why not think about it to help you lower your scores?